Welcome to Fall Ritual Hall and Attraction Video Reviews 2024. Today, I want to talk about Scream Mountain. Uh, Scream Mountain is located in Spring Mount, PA. Um, it's at the Spring Mountain Ski Resort. So if you're familiar with the uh, ski resort there, um, they do put on a Hall and Attraction right there. Um, this place has three attractions that you can go through. Um, the first being the chairlift um, that takes you up to the trail, and then the trail will take you down to the hayride. Um, all three attractions, it's $30 to do all three. Um, if you just want to do the hayride, that's $25. Um, but you can't just do the chairlift and trail by itself. Um, that is part of the combo. So the only thing you can do separate um, is the hayride, but I do recommend um, doing all three of them. They do have a uh, VIP upgrade. Um, that's $50 for that. Um, they do have a um, MGK night, WMGK, the, uh, the radio station. They do have a uh, event night coming up. That night, I hear, gets crazy busy, so you might want to get the VIP uh, for that night. Um, they do offer a group discount, too, for I believe it's 20 or more people in, in your group. Um, and they do offer a $5 off um, active military discount. So if you're active military, uh, make sure you mention it and you'll get $5 off. Uh, they do have a thing there too. Um, it's called like an immunity necklace. Um, so if you get one of those, I believe it's $5. Uh, you put it around your neck, it lights up and the actors will kind of take it easy on you, um, which would probably be great if you had um, kids going. Um, you can buy your tickets online. You can buy them at the ticket booth. Um, but either way, if you get your tickets online and print it out, you're going to have to go to the ticket booth anyway. They will give you an actual ticket, um, but then you're going to have to give that ticket to the uh, person at the chairlift when you get on that. Um, when you get there, there is a pretty big parking lot, and it is uh, free parking. Um, the parking is not that far from the ticket booth, so you're going to walk up to the ticket booth, Either, like I said, buy tickets there, um, they do take cash, and I believe they also take credit card. Um, and like I said, even if you have your online ticket, you have to go there anyway. Um, they do have some photo ops surrounding the uh, ticket booth area. So uh, before or after you get your tickets, you can hang out, um, get, some, get some photo ops there. Um, after that, they do have kind of a um, midway area. Um, they, uh, they have live bands playing. They got a food truck. The food truck is your, your standard food truck. You don't get hot dogs, hamburgers, fries, uh, your basic food truck stuff. Um, tons of benches, tons of seating area. And uh, they do have like a giant fire pit there too. So it is a really cool setup there, there midway. Um, when you're ready to go in, um, like I said, you know, I highly re recommend doing all three. So when you first go in, you're going to make a left over to the uh, chair left, which right from the start, that is such a unique feature. Um, I can't think of many or at all haunts that start with a chair left. Um, and it is... I mean, you're gonna you're gonna go up there. I, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but it's gonna be uh, quite a while to uh, to go up on this chairlift. Um, if you're if you're afraid of heights, if you have any type of fear of heights, it's it's it's, it's tough. It's a, it's a tough one. Um, I don't necessarily have um, a fear of heights, but it it does get creepy. It, it's because you're just going up up this mountain, I mean, it's, it's 
you, you see the lights from like down below from like the midway in the ticket booth area and at a certain point you'll see the lights and sounds from from the trail but there's a certain point where it's just dark and, and you can't really see any lights and you can't really hear anything um and it gets really creepy when i was going on it i don't know if this was intentional or if something was happening but the chairlift stopped and me being by myself i'm kind of like freaking out like why did this just stop i'm sure it was only about 30 seconds it stopped but of course it felt about like 10 minutes and then it finally picked up so i don't know if that was intentional if it was good job um or if they were actually having some issue but uh either way it, it, it kind of creeped me out so this is a this is a haunt that now when i go to other haunts i kind of like to get there early i kind of like to get there a little before they open get my tickets be the first through i kind of like to do everything all the attractions first and then have time to kind of just hang out and and see what else they have this is a place i do not recommend being first um just have a lot of people in front of you go and and the reason for that is when you're going up the chairlift there's going to be a certain point where you're going to be over the trail and just looking down on that trail and seeing all the lighting hearing the sounds hearing the people scream as they go through it is such a cool feature and and very unique um so i highly recommend you not be the first one to go through because you really want to hear and see all the things going on and like it doesn't give it away like when you look down on it like you can't see what's happening all you can see is certain lights some fog and and hearing the the people scream and shout which is uh which is like i said it's really cool to, it's really cool to see in here so uh, just make sure you're not the first one up there. Um, when you get off, um, before you hit the trail, there is another um, photo op. I'm not sure if it's there on um, purpose as a photo op, but certainly there was a lot of people, you know, getting their pictures taken with it. It's this huge giant uh, skeleton that's there that's all lit up. It's not the skeleton from home depot or lowe's like that type of skill it is it, it's so much cooler looking than that it, it is really cool it's all lit up green um so there is another photo op there they do a really good job of spacing um there was one lady in front of me and she went in by herself and they asked me if i wanted to go in with her and i said no i'm gonna go in by myself um and they were totally cool with that and it was probably almost a minute um, between her and me, and then another minute, I'm sure, before the people behind me went through. So their spacing is really good. Also, the timing is really good because um, when you look at the line getting on the chairlift and you think it's kind of long and it's just like, well, it's going to continuously flow because the chairlift is moving. And that's a good time management through the trail because if you see all the people in front of you, well, they're gonna be going while you're going up the chairlift. So it is a really good time management they got going on there. If you walk at a normal pace, you're not gonna run into anyone unless if they're moving slow or unless if the people behind you are like rushing through it. Um, <clears throat> but I did not run into the person in front of me and the people behind me did not catch up to me. So definitely really good spacing. Um, there are a lot of new scenes in the trail. So if you know the place, if you've been there before, it is completely changed. It's like you haven't been there before with all the stuff they've done to it. Um, and this, this is my third time going, and this is the third time it's been different. So obviously they change it every year, uh, which is really awesome they do that. It's not the same thing you're gonna see year after year. Um, the actors on the trail were incredible. I know there were a few actors who this was their first season 
And since I went opening night, they kind of had that opening night nervousness about them. But uh, they definitely did a great job. Um, and I'd much rather see an actor in there than an animatronic. So even if they were kind of nervous about it, it was still great to see actors in there. Um, the lighting is incredible. The use of fog is incredible. Uh, makeup, costumes, all on point. Every actor <clears throat> um, in there did a great job. Um, this is also a place where you're not going to get like licensed characters in there. Every actor creates a character, gets into that character, stays in that character. It's 100% original. So, which is really, really awesome to see. Um, when going through it, when going through walking down the trail, keep in mind you are going down a mountain. So it is very steep. Um, I do recommend wearing some comfortable shoes, shoes you don't mind getting dirty because you're on like the, the side of a mountain going down it. It's, I, I highly recommend wearing, you know, comfortable shoes and shoes that like with some type of grip to them and so you won't slip, especially going after the trail when you're just walking straight down the hill. Um, there is some rough terrain throughout there. You're gonna cross over some bridges. Um, new for this year, there is some crawling or like crouching. I'm not exactly sure if you were supposed to get on your hands and knees. It was kind of higher where I could crouch. One of the actors made a comment about like me being afraid to get on my knees and get dirty, but I, I got through it just by crouching. Either way, I'm not a big fan of it, um, so keep that in mind when going, you are going down a mountain and there will be some crawling or crouching going on. Um, I will say, without giving too much away about this, the last scene on the trail is incredible. What a way to end the trail. Um, the actor in there, the chain man, awesome, awesome job. Um, that is a fantastic scene and perfect way to end the trail. Now, when you get through the trail, I said you are going to go down the rest of the mountain to the hayride. And that is a pretty steep uh, descend down to the, uh, to the uh, hayride. So just be careful going down that. Um, the hayride. Um, there is no hay. Um, on, on the hayride, but there is a reason for that. They, they cannot have hay on it, um, so you will be sitting on benches. Um, the thing I love about this hayride so much is that there's one beam throughout. I mean, obviously there's different scenes, but all the scenes tie into this one big theme, which is this mining town uh, theme, um, which I love because it's not like these random scenes like it's not like oh well here's your clown scene here's your toxic waste scene here's your junkyard scene and it's just kind of like thrown together and um no this is this is one theme throughout the whole thing which is awesome because the whole mining town thing is very original and very unique and you don't see it often um or if you do see it it's just like i said one scene and then that's it um the very first scene on the hayride sets the whole tone. That is a brutal scene. Um, the demon barber, when he comes out, it, it, he truly, truly sets the tone for what's about ready to happen. And this is a hayride that once it starts, it does not let up. There is some crazy, crazy stuff going on on this, uh, on the hayride. The actors, are all incredible. There's parts where like actors from one scene will ride the hay the hay wagon all the way to the next one. It's incorporated to the next scene. And then they're running back to their their previous scene. It, it's unbelievable. There's there's one actor, the chainsaw actor, he's on a zip line. It's just every actor there gives it their all 100 percent gets into character, stays in character. Uh, there's one point where the guy's 
shooting a shotgun. It's just, it, it's pure chaos there. Um, the very last scene on the hayride is by far my favorite. Uh, it's the infirmary. What a way to not only end the hayride, but end the whole thing. Um, that infirmary scene is just pure. It, it's nuts. It, it, you have to say it. It's just crazy. Everyone in that scene is just going at it 100%. There is no letting up. Um, at one point, one of the actors took my hat off. But it's just, they're, they're grabbing your ankles. It's just crazy. Um, and then after the hayride, it's going to lead you back into the, um, like the midway area. When I, the night I went, and I've noticed, in, no, noticed this the past few years, um, there are a lot of kids there. And not just like teenagers, but like preteens and even younger. And I don't know how to answer a question of, is this okay to bring my kid to? I, I don't know. I don't know your kid. I don't know what they can handle or can handle. But there are a lot of kids there. Um, I even saw as young, they looked like maybe about three or four. Now, I know that's way too young to be taking them through this. But what they do there, um, they do have a daytime hayride that starts at 6 o'clock before the actual haunt opens. Um, and you can go through the hayrides area, the hayride scenes, with no actors and while it's still light out. So maybe those little kids were there for that. Um... But I don't see how, like, real little kids can could handle this. Um, I did talk to one guy afterwards. Um, I noticed he had two kids with him. They were, like, 8 and 12, and he said they loved it. Um, but you got to know what your kids can handle because these actors will get in your face. Um, someone will grab your ankles, and, and it is pretty intense. But there are a lot of kids there. Um, with that being said, what I would like to see different there, when you get off or when you get off the hayride and when you start um, going over to the chairlift, there is a huge area, there's this huge grassy area um, where it's kind of just nothing going on. And I would love to see them put some like carnival games or something there that, uh, that you could do before or afterwards. Um, especially with like the amount of kids, I think kids would really be into like doing the games and stuff and it's a great way to make extra money. Um, I also would like to see like one or two actors roaming around either at like the chairlift line or down, um, the midway area, but I know it's tough to get actors at haunts and I'd rather see them inside the haunt than in the midway area, but it would be cool to see like the, the photo or, uh, the ticket booth, the midway, or like the uh, the chairlift area. So, um, also, me personally, I'm not a fan of crawling and crouching. Um, I really don't know what it brings to the haunt. Um, leave a comment, leave a comment in, in this video. Do you like crawling? Do you like crouching? Does it add any, does it, is it makes it scarier to you? I, I don't know, I really don't get it, but, uh, Leave me a comment to say like, yeah, it, it is creepy or, you know, you do get something out of it. Um, personally, I think they can get rid of it. But uh, all in all, I, I absolutely love this place. It is a place that is a must see um, just because it is so unique. Um, what they're doing is completely outside of the box. You're not going to see the same stuff over again like at so many other haunts. But uh, that's it. Check them out. It's Scream Mountain. They're open every Friday and Saturday in October. So, uh, yeah, Scream Mountain. Check them out. Thank you for watching.